What up, y'all? It's your guy Dawson from D&D TV. Thank you for rating, commenting, and subscribing. Everybody who's donated, those of you all who will, you know I appreciate it. All that information is in the description box below. Make sure you go over to my other YouTube channel, Dawson Speaks. Subscribe over there and hit the little bell next to the subscribe button so you get notifications when I drop a new video. Now, let's get into this topic. Now, this gentleman right here is none other than Donald Andrew Donnie McKirkland Jr., born in 1959. Actually, he is 60 years old. He celebrated a uh, 60th birthday celebration at his church, and uh, a lot of gospel artists came out, you know, to help him celebrate for that. Now, Donnie, Pastor Donnie, is an American gospel singer, minister. He has won Grammy Awards, Stellar Awards, BET Awards, Soul Train Awards, a Dove Award, and an NAACP Award. He is is one of the top selling gospel music artists selling over 10 million albums worldwide and Pastor Donnie has also been dubbed as the reigning king of urban gospel and that is a title well deserved because any we've all been blessed by his his uh music you know and things like that and the man can sing you know I definitely a uh, hands down he is one of the best uh, go male gospel artists of um of our time. I, in my opinion, definitely one of the best. And uh, give him his kudos. The man is great in that. Now, a little more history about Pastor Donnie. Uh, in 2002, he told a Christian website that due to his sexual abuse, he had struggled with homosexuality. Uh, Pastor Donnie believes that he turned gay because of his childhood molestation, but was able to reverse his orientation through will and prayer. He also said that he rejected that lifestyle, and he goes on as being quoted for saying, I've been through this and have experienced God's power to change my lifestyle. I am delivered. Delivered, and I know God can deliver others too. Now, uh, in 2000, Pastor Donnie had a son, a boy, uh, and in 2016, he was reported to be engaged in, in a relationship, rather, with gospel singing. Well, Christian, she's a Christian artist. She's not really in the gospel, but she is a Christian recording artist. Nicole C. Mullen, the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I, let me tell y'all, son. I have loved Nicole C. Mullen since I was a teenager going into young adulthood. The lady, I love her voice, her anointing her spirit uh it, it's just her testimony is amazing and so you all who watch this show know I had some uh comments to make when I heard <laughs> that her and Donnie were about to get married and I still feel the same way and I'll explain more of that throughout this video but what really made me want to do this particular story right here uh is because Somebody sent me um, a, a link to something, and then I started getting notifications for this particular video. And it was Donnie, Pastor Donnie, doing an interview on the uh, popular, uh, I think, uh, Sister Circle. It's a show, I guess they're based out of Atlanta or whatnot. And on this particular show, in this segment, uh, one of the co-hosts, Trina Braxton uh, from the Braxton Sisters, she asked Pastor Donnie, she said, you know, you preach, you minister, all this kind of stuff. And I'm paraphrasing. You all can go look at the video for yourself. She said, what do you do to take care of you? And Pastor Donnie went on to say, you know, that part will make me cry because I give so much when it comes to music. I give so much when it comes to family. I give so much when it comes to ministry, but there's nothing left for me. And I'm paraphrasing this. And he goes on to say that it puts me in, you know, bouts of depression, cycles of depression. And, you know, I'm, I find mechanisms and ways to get my way out. He said, but it's really hard, you know, because he has nothing there for him. And he went on to say how he travels and he gives so much traveling all around the world. But when he's on the plane, he's alone. When he comes home and he's alone, when he's lying in bed, he's alone. There's no one there. But he said, but God or yet God, something he said, he said, God gives me the grace to do it. And uh, what's the other lady name? Rashawn Ali right there. The beautiful Rashawn Ali said, look here. She was like. You know, I don't mean to get too personal, but have you thought about, you know, uh, a therapist and stuff? And he was like, no, I believe in, you know, uh, psychological therapy and all that. And he sits down with someone and he went on to talk about how that helps him a bit. But then, you know me, I'm a vlogger and I also listen to the people because when the people speak, Dawson going to listen. And on that particular video and other videos that Donnie had talked about this particular issue with him having, you know, uh, 
feeling lonely and wanting somebody by his side and wanting somebody to, you know, uh, to be at him with him at his house. He's talked about this before in other interviews. This is not the first time, but this caught my attention because some people in the comments on that video on Sister Circle, they went on to say, hmm, no questions about marriage. And some of you women who were in that comment section went on to say, what about Nicole C. Mullen? And I was going to leave this alone. I wasn't going to say anything on this video until I saw one of my Facebook friends post this or he reposted this. And it made me, I said, you know what? I got to address the issue, even though they were being funny. And I, the person who did that, you know, he's on my Facebook page. I just looked at it and I just kind of like, eh. but I was like, everyone still has questions only because Pastor Donnie put himself out there as the poster child for change. As the poster child of, I'm not this anymore, I'm this, and I, you know, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to marry Nicole C. Mullen, and he broke it, and I'm delivered, and I'm free, and my life is better. But then you sit here, and you're saying the same thing that you have said years ago, decades ago, in other interviews. And it's confusing. Because it's confusing because you all think we forget. Now, one thing y'all got to know, Dawson does not forget. I could pull up interviews that happened in the 90s and try to Google that mess when I think of it, when a celebrity or anybody says something that's offbeat. Like, vloggers, that's what we do. So, I mean, people, I mean, y'all got to understand, when you're in living your life in the spotlight or you're saying one thing or preaching one thing and then you come back and want to, you know, use the same thing you used in 2003 when you were on TBN, now you're going to use it in 2019. Now that you're on uh, the sister circle and they, you know, maybe they don't know, but people who followed your career and know things about you, we know that this is something you use to deflect away from the truth. And my opinion, that brother, you are still struggling with this particular thing and you use this whole depression issue and all of this other stuff as a tool to get them off of the issue. Where is your wife? If you're this lonely, Donnie. If you want somebody by your side, if you want somebody in your bed, Donnie, you are a pastor up under the uh, the the denomination of Pastor Marvin Winans Church, uh, perfecting uh, what is it, perfecting church out in uh, Freeport, New York. You are you're a pastor there, buddy. All them women there. You mean to tell me nothing, nothing, nobody? You ain't dated nobody. I mean, because you're saying that you want someone. If you just said, I'm, I'm, you know, I am where I am now. I'm happy being single. I'm right here right now. I understand that this wouldn't even be a video. But my thing, the reason why this is a video, because there are single male pastors and female pastors who are out here preaching and they don't make it an issue saying they're depressed and all this kind of stuff. They just said, I'm single and I'm serving the Lord and I'm doing what I need to do. But you keep saying you want someone. And my question is to you is who's stopping you? Who is stopping you from getting the wife that you want? What's stopping you? You got to talk. You can't just throw scriptures and uh, spiritual cliches out there to people who think this is a YouTube show for thinkers. You can't throw that out to people in the world who probably don't want anything to do with church people. Not that they don't want anything to do with God. Some people are just anti-church people because they see the hypocrisy. They hear the lies and they probably know you're saying this, but you got somebody on the side. You're saying this, but we know what you really do. And in this age, in 2019, going into 2020, where we have people giving receipts and they got videos and they got hotel receipts and they got phone conversations and you don't have to wait to, you know, your popular uh, network of BET and VH1 and one of those commentators put it on. No, no, no. Y'all come here to YouTube where the people go to the regular people who produce the receipts and you all see that these people are living a lie. And I say to you, my brother, as much as I'm happy that you are in therapy, as much as I'm happy that you are, you know, you are, you, you're singing, you're preaching, you got a son, all this kind of stuff. You're lying to yourself, Donnie, because there are women out there who are available and who want to get married. So to say that I, I, you know, there's no one. Well, he ain't found nobody. Y'all say that for other people. Don't, don't tell me that. Come on now. Now, come on now. I, I know women can use that excuse, but a man, come on now. Don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. You got to be real. You got to be real. I'm sorry. You got to be real. Because Donnie travels the world. So you mean when you went over there to do uh, There Is God, you went back to London, you know, 20 years later. 
and you've gone frequently to London, to all these different places, to Africa, or traveling all around the world, there were no women over there, Donnie. Now, I know some of you all may have your own opinion, and I'm trying to be nice and fair about this. And the only reason I'm talking about this is because Donnie made himself and he was he held that title and he still holds it. He holds it so strong to his heart that I have changed and I am this and I am not struggling. I and some of you all may say, well, Dawson, what would you want him to say? What would be something that I would like for Donnie to say is this. I am still struggling. I still have issues. I told y'all I was delivered, but I'm not. I found out that this, when you're talking about, because you're really, uh, you're suppressing your sexuality. When you're talking about suppressing your sexuality and your desires to, to go a certain way, because many people have done that. That's nothing. I mean, people do that all the time. But to keep telling people that you don't have those feelings, you delivered, you're from victim to victory and all this other kind of stuff. And then you get up here and you really don't, go deep into the situation you brush it off with i'm receiving therapy i want to i want somebody to be there with me i want somebody to be there donnie you can't throw stuff out there like that when you have thinkers in the world when you have people ministers a lot of the men and women who are where you are dealing with the same thing some of them people in the church dealing with the same thing and when you have people who hide behind these issues, it's almost like we're going to go into 2020 doing the same thing you did in 2002. No, 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 no. Tell the truth. Tell the people that this is still something that you so-called are still struggling with. That's why you don't have a wife. Don't bring that to us, especially men. Don't bring that to no men. Some women you could fool because you know them women. You know Jim Jones. He had most of them women over there in uh, Jonestown. He was able to fool a lot of them. But it's some men, you ain't, men and women, you're not going to fool with that. Because you can't tell me it's women. You try, man, come on, bruh. You travel worldwide, Donnie. If you wanted to find a wife, bro, you would have had a wife 10 years ago. And some of y'all have kids to throw people off. Oh, he got a son. He got that on me. Now, where's his wife at? And the whole Nicole C. Mullen thing to me, now that I'm looking in hindsight, that was just another distraction, another wall block. So, you you know, because you got to look at this, guys. And I'm just talking to y'all right now. This is me talking about this situation. Because if Donnie was to come out and say that I'm not fully delivered and I'm still struggling with this particular issue. As a pastor, they would not have that. He would have to sit down because the church would not want to know that this pastor, who is especially under Marvin Winans, and let's not get into all the people who were up under Marvin Winans, and one of them is Pastor Cordell Jenkins, who got caught up in that uh, whole human sex trafficking, him and his wife, uh, Laura Lloyd Jenkins, and, you know, pastor is serving a life sentence, and Laura Lloyd Jenkins has two years in prison. So let's not talk about his leaders should know because the leaders didn't know that his uh, Marvin Wines didn't know that Pastor Cordell Dink Jenkins was doing what he was doing. And now he's serving a life sentence in prison. So don't tell me what the leaders around him should know because the leaders, these people looking at money. Do they really care about your soul? The fact that you're sitting up here on Sister Circle saying all this stuff, man, do they care about your mental health? No, I'm glad you care about it. That's why you got into therapy. Because you know it's a struggle for you to carry this title as, oh, I used to be that, I used to be that, and I just haven't found the right relationship. Donnie, there's no, for a man to say that, I'm sorry, there's no excuse. It's too, the church is full of more women than anything. I'm sorry. And it doesn't have to be a woman at his church. This man travels the world. Now, if John John and Ray Ray, they only go to church in, you know, uh, Valdosta, if they could find two or three women, come on now, we being real. What's your problem, man? You travel the world yearly. <laughs> I am a thinker. You all can't just throw away. We're going to pray. We're going to pray. Let God fix it. No, you're going to fix it, man. You're going to fix it by fixing your mouth to tell the truth on the next interviews you do when people ask you a question in 2020 and beyond. Because using this same stuff that you used in 2002 when you were on TBN, when you went on all these networks and people shouting and, and the women getting all happy. Yay, yay, yay. And 20 years later, you 60 years old still doing the same thing. 
No, nah, I just had to get this off my chest because I, I'm telling y'all, this really, this really, this really got me because Donnie is a talent. And for him to sit on there saying that he wanted to, to end it all, that he just wanted to go home and be with God. I'm like, Donnie, so you finna get up, are you ready to get up out of here because you're not going to be true about who you are, bruh? Because you can't tell the people in your church, you, your friends may know, but you can't tell the people in your church, especially people in the gospel industry, look, I need to take a sabbatical because, look, I've been telling y'all I've been, I've been, I've been uh, delivered and all this kind of stuff, but I'm still struggling. Because people are going to say, well, why haven't you found a wife, bruh? And as I said again, there are many people who are pastors, evangelists, prophets, teachers, elders. A lot of them are, they're, they're, they're single. Some of them have been single for years. And if they want to stay single, stay single. The reason why I'm addressing this with Donnie is because he's saying that he wants someone. And Donnie, you can't tell me, bro. All these women you come in contact with over 20 something years around the world. This man travels extensively around the world. There was no one. And the person you thought it was going to be, Nicole C. Mullen. To me, that was just like throwing a, you know, just throwing hey, a distraction out there. Oh, well, we tried it, but it didn't work. So now I can go another 10 years and next decade, I say something else. You're going to be 70 next decade, man. Y'all go off in the comments. Uh, thank you all for all your letters. Thank you all, you people who have been victims of stuff in the church to keep Dawson going, because I'm, I'm going to make sure we talk about this stuff. You know, I don't hold nothing back when it comes to any of these people. I'm here for the victims, for real. I stand alone on these YouTube screeches, and uh, I'm going to make sure that, you know, the victims get heard. And when things, when things happen like this, where people are using people like Donnie, Pastor Donnie, as the litmus test as what is possible and what could be. But this man is sitting here on Sister Circle saying... You know, I don't, I don't know. I go, I go into bouts of depression. I, I go into this, but you know, but God, it's, it, I'm gonna tell y'all this. It is not God's will for you to be depressed. It is not God's will for you to go in cycles of depression and all this kind of stuff. Even though people go through with it, get the help you need. But I believe that your, his issue is him not being honest with who he is. And not saying that if he says I'm still struggling with this or whatnot, that he has to go act on it. Because we know you don't you can you don't have to act on something even though you feel it. But to say you've been delivered from it and you want a woman to be in your bed and by your side and there's no one there for men, we question that, buddy. That's why the church is full of a lot of women, because you all will believe stuff like that. But men who think he don't have to hit, he don't have to have a degree. All he has to do is be a, a thinking man to say, wait a minute, dog, dog. I, I live in I live in Chicago. I ain't left Chicago. But I know at every church you can get go date about three, four, five women until you find a why well, why you ain't found one? You travel the world, bro. What's your problem? Go off in the comments. Let me know what you think. I hope Donnie gets well soon, whatever it is. But I just hope you be real enough with yourself. So you don't take this into 2020 until the next decade, you know, Lord's willing that you're saying the same thing, man, because there are people looking at you, Donnie. They're looking at you and they're hoping that their their sister, their mother, their their uncle, their husband, their wife who are going through some of the similar things that you are going through now will change because people and you, you made you the poster child for change. And when you keep up a facade for so long. The layers start to peel off. It starts to peel. You can't keep it up, bro. You, it starts to peel off. So I'm off of this. I wanted to talk about it. That's why I'm talking about it. I created this YouTube show for me and Denise so we could talk about what we wanted to talk about. And that's what I'm going to do on the YouTube show I created. So go off in the comments. Please be respectful in the comments. YouTube has new policies and new laws. So if they disable or delete y'all comment, if it's harsh... That's on that's on YouTube. I give them permission in this day platform. But one thing we will continue to do here in a respectful way is talk about these issues because you can't tell me, bro, that if you really wanted a wife, if you really wanted somebody to be by your side, to go home with you at night and travel around the world with you, 
Why you don't have it, man? It's your guy Dawson. Take care of yourself and each other. Peace.